being the most popular girl in school is not as easy as you might think. Your family life is falling apart. One of your best friends is trying to betray you by telling everybody all the secrets and all the problems you've been having. And we are going to get to the bottom of this, but the one silver lining, the one good thing that's happening this whole time is our mysterious neighbor was nice to us. Yes, I know. So as you might have guessed, this is Envy Chapter 5. And if you guys haven't seen the previous chapters or want to catch up or just want to rewatch, they're all in the description below so you guys can check it out there. Make sure you guys give this video a big like and let's go. <gasps> Hey, I am angry because I just found out one of them, one of my three best friends betrayed me. Okay, because the whole school knows things that only they could have possibly known. Hey, Bora. Are you okay? Um, yeah. It's just a um, strange morning, isn't it, huh? One of them leaked the news about my parents. Don't let her see how hurt I am. Smile on the outside, cry on the inside, okay, girl? Don't let her have that satisfaction. I mean, it's weird. People seem to be gossiping about me this morning, specifically about my parents. And thanks to Brenda, I now know that it's definitely one of you who spread the gossip. Oh yeah, I'm thinking that, guys. Just, just an inner thought. I don't understand how anyone else knew about it. I never breathed a word to anyone. Whoa, oh, boo, that's so upsetting. Okay, so, so, Jazz didn't deny it. Jazz didn't say I didn't say it. So, this is going too far. They're playing stupid. I need to get to the bottom of this right now. Okay, question them to reveal clues about who betrayed you. All right. What should I ask them? Who arrived first this morning? Did any of you overhear anything? What do you think about all of this? Who reached school first this morning? Does that matter? I actually just arrived before you did, Bora. Ooh, okay, Gabby. Clue one, Gabby arrived after Jazz and May. Jazz and May were already there when I met up with them. Huh, Gabby seems very eager to point out that May and Jazz were in school before her. So that's interesting. I'm gonna ask, what did you guys hear before I arrived? Oh, I overheard Dylan gossiping with Steve about it. That's what I saw too, but she didn't stop it. So who told Dylan or Steve first? What do you think about all this, guys? You're right, we were the only three who knew. Thank you, May. It must have been one of us who leaked it. Although, I don't understand why. May seems to be suspecting something. <gasps> no, no, please don't tell me what I'm thinking is going to happen next. Please don't make May disappear, whoever you are. That's quite a reaction. Who was telling the truth and who was putting on an act? I'll find out which one of them did this soon enough. So, what were you talking about? We were just wondering where Faye is. Faye? Why? She was supposed to meet me here 15 minutes ago so that I could return her notes to her. But she's not here and her mobile switched off. Like, who switches off their mobile? <laughs> Uh, remember that time when May forgot her mobile in her room and climbed back up her wall just to get it? Okay, who calls a cell phone a mobile? I love this. <laughs> ah, there are mosquitoes biting me. Hurry up, May! Shh, my parents will hear you. Oh my god, that's the cutest thing ever. Careful! Did you guys have any idea how hard it is to climb down a wall while wearing heels? I thought you were afraid of heights. I'm even more afraid of missing out on a great party. Let's go! Yeah! Wait, I forgot my mobile in my room! Wait, is she seriously climbing back up her wall to get her phone? Good times, yeah? <laughs> you met the hot guy that night! Couldn't have exchanged numbers if you hadn't had your phone with you! Exactly! There's the bell, hope Faye gets here soon! Bora, hang on! What is it, May? Bora, I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself and not letting yourself be betrayed anymore. Don't tell them any more things about you. May, sweetheart, I love you. You're on my side. I need someone I can trust. May has just given you a warning. She's right. Maybe I should plant fake seeds everywhere. Oh my God, I thought that AP English language and composition would be more interesting than this. Ugh, so bored. May has been awful quiet the entire period. Hey, May, are you all right? <laughs> oh, May, why are you crying? My parents grounded me again. Oh, no, why? Has it to do with the calculus test yesterday? Yeah, they weren't too happy that I got a C. The worst thing is, I have to quit the cheerleading team. Your parents want you to quit cheerleading? Yeah. 
I'm so sorry, Bora. I have no idea how I'm going to break the news to Jazz. She'll flip for sure. Oh my god, that's really awful news. Do you think that they might be persuaded to change their minds? Oh, are you thinking of speaking to them? It's true that they've always loved you and have a good opinion of you. And it would be so cool if I could stay with you all on the squad. You're my best friend and this is the only time we really get to spend together. We're usually so busy nowadays otherwise. I could get the rest of the squad, even coach, to get together and convince May's parents. Help May stay on the team. Of course, she's my only ally right now. May, I'm going to get the rest of the squad together. Leave it to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You created a group chat called Squad Emergency Operation May. Everybody, we have an emergency. Meet in the courtyard after class and grab Coach Brown. We definitely can't afford to lose May. Good call getting everyone together, Bora. Here she comes now. Hi, girls. Ready to go, May? Actually, Mr. Chen, we were hoping to speak with you. Ah, is this regarding our decision to have May quit cheerleading? Yes, it is. Mrs. Chen, we're hoping that you would reconsider. May is an important part of the team and we rely on her so much. An extracurricular activity is so important for one's overall development, not to mention well-being. Mrs. Chen, May is an integral member of the team. It's true, we simply can't do without her. Miss Chen, May and I are going to study together from now on. Mom, please listen to them. May, you know what your father and I think about the importance of grades. But I can see that this means a lot to you and your friends as well. Also, Bora, I heard about how you comforted May yesterday. <gasps> I appreciate that you're always there for her. So if you promise to do better in calculus from now on... I promise! I promise! Yay! Alright, you can stay on the cheerleading team. Come on now, the car is idling. Oh my god, Bora, you totally did it! I have solidified the team! I'm like staying on the squad. We all convinced her as a team. Well done, Bora. Yeah, Jazz! This is exactly how I expect my head cheerleaders to lead. You really saved the squad, Bora. Especially with the cheerleading talent scout coming to check us out next week. We really can't afford to lose a team member right now. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Faye? She was supposed to meet me half an hour ago in the gym. She didn't show up this morning too when she was supposed to meet me before class. And why isn't she here now? Bora, did you add her to the group chat when you texted everyone to meet here? I did. Hang on, she hasn't even read the message. It was unlike Faye to flake on anyone. I felt a strange frisson run over my skin. Oh no. What are Faye's parents doing here? Mr. and Mrs. Green, is Faye all right? How many of you seen Faye? She never came home from school yesterday. We're filling a missing persons report. <laughs> Faye is missing? Oh, oh no, Faye. Thank God. I'm sorry, Faye. I'm sorry you're missing, but I thought it was going to be one of my three friends. And I'm glad it's not May, but Faye. I mean, how are we going to do without you? Are we going to find Faye, guys? What happened to her? Let me know your thoughts. No spoilers, please, because I am doing this for the first time along with you guys. So, we didn't see a lot of James in this chapter, and I am quite disappointed, but that's fine. We had important matters to deal with, like May quitting the squad and Faye missing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Make sure you guys leave a big like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye!